It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Fuller's Brewery and it's a bottle of their Citrus Cyclone West Coast Hopped IPA coming in at 5.6% ABV. Looks really good. 330 bottle. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass. See what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. It's, yeah, it, it, Fuller's like the, uh, the, can you remember the Fuller's and Friends beers from last year? 20, I shouldn't say last year, you might be watching 10 years in the future. Fuller's and Friends beers of 2018, where they did a collaboration with Cloudwater, and they used, like, darker malts. Fuller's seem to like to use darker malts in their IPAs. It's not, I mean, it's not dark, dark. I'm not saying it's roasted malt, but it's certainly a bit of kind of red malt in there or a darker malt in there rather than just your clear, your crystal malt, which generally I would say the younger brewing generation would use is just some crystal. Just to get it nice and kind of like light and crisp and, and to get the hops to shine more. That's my observation on what we have in the glass so far. We've got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a slightly amber coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh, very soapy in the aroma. It's almost like sticking your face in a, in a, in a lemon soap bowl or Lemon Purcell or something like that. Really soapy. Comments in the comments box, guys. If you're a brewer, if you're a home brewer, if you know stuff about beer, tell me in the comments box, why is this beer smelling of lemon soap? What's caused that? Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh yeah, that's a shame that, it's a shame, oh, this one's not for me, it's not for me, it's it's really soapy, lemon soapy, it's almost, it's almost like I haven't rinsed my glass properly and, and there's some lemon dishwasher tablet stuff on the glass, it's, I know it's not that, I know it's not that because you do get this kind of style of beer from, unfortunately, unfortunately, from a regional brewer. They're trying, they're trying their very best to kind of stay young, stay funky, stay fresh, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, some of them just don't know how to brew young, funky, fresh, trendy beer. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's their brewing equipment. Maybe their equipment set up in a certain way that they can't do an awful lot of dry hopping. Or they have to brew at a price. So I don't know. It just feels like they've used a lot of hop oil in the in the beer rather than rather than real kind of flower hops it's almost buttery as well it's almost got that kind of like buttery feel to it um it's just a bit messy it's just a bit messy and you never know what you're going to get from Fuller's. You never seem to know. I had a beer the other day from Fuller's, which I really, really enjoyed. It was the Frontier. It was the Fuller's Frontier Lager. Really enjoyed that. I can't understand how they can go from brewing a really good lager 
to get in like a, a, an uncomplicated pale ale or IPA so wrong? How can they go from brewing something so right in a lager to brewing something so wrong in this beer? They've got this completely wrong. They've made a right hash, a right mess of this beer. It's not, it's, it's like, as I mentioned earlier, it, as soon as I poured the beer out, it was the colour. The colour was kind of a, a, a darker malt. You're getting that kind of like breadiness from the malt coming through, a real malt taste. And you don't necessarily need that in an American style IPA. What you're looking to do with an American style IPA is, is putting the hops on a platform to shine. That's all you're looking to do. You're not looking to pull loads of flavour from the malt. I, I don't understand how somebody like a brewery like Fuller's can't seem to grasp this, can't seem to understand it. I'm really ranting now because it's not hard. It's your job, it's not hard. All American hops collide with grapefruit peel, pulp and juice to deliver tart flavours Brace your taste buds for a citrus cyclone. Ah, oh, it's even like, you know, they just, oh, marketing departments as well, where they come up with this rubbish on the back of the labels. I'm really disappointed with this beer, really disappointed. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that Fuller's are now owned by Asahi. It's got nothing to do with that, because I bet this beer has been planned and brewed for the last six months. So it's well before the Asahi thing. This is, this is Fuller's as Fuller's before Asahi. Brewed and bought by Fuller, Smith and Turner PLC. There we are, Griffin Brewery, Chiswick Lane, South London. So it's not, it's not even a Sahi yet. Um, Fuller's, come on, I give you, I think I give you enough, I think I gave you as much as a rant in the Cloudwater collaboration, and that was a year ago. And you, you still don't seem to grasp it. You still don't seem to understand the aspect of a really good American IPA. And these American IPAs have now been brewed for the last 15 years. How long is it going to take you to understand an American IPA? Number one, it's too dark. The malts are wrong. Number two, you've used kind of like hop oils or... It smells like a lemon soap dish. Come on, grasp it. Get your act together. Rating, two out of ten. 2 out of 10 for Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.